Hi! 10 Real Estate Vocabulary in German. 10 Vokabeln zum Thema Immobilien auf Deutsch. So in this lesson I want to teach you a couple of like the fundamental and very important vocabulary that you need to know if you want to buy a property or if you want to rent a property. If you like this type of video then give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so here we go. The 10 vocabulary about property or real estate. The first one is Mieten und Vermieten. And Mieten is to rent and Vermieten is to rent out. So for example you could say Ich miete eine Wohnung. I am renting an apartment. Or Der Eigentümer vermietet sein Haus. The owner is renting out his house. Nummer 2 Die Lage. Die Lage is the location. Okay, so you probably know the saying location, location, location. If you want to say that in German, then it would probably be Lage, Lage, Lage. So, die Lage der Wohnung ist wichtig. The location of the apartment is important. Or die Lage des Hauses ist wichtig. The location of the house is important. Nummer 3. Die Hypothek. Die Hypothek is the mortgage, such as, wenn du ein Haus kaufst, dann kannst du eine Hypothek bei der Bank aufnehmen. If you, are wanting, if you want to buy a house, then you can take a loan or then you can take a mortgage from the bank. Nummer 4. Zinsen. Die Zinsen oder der Zins as a singular is the interest, such as like the interest rate and so on. So, die Zinsen sind niedrig is the interest rate or the interest is low. Die Zinsen. Nummer 5. Der Mietvertrag. Der Mietvertrag is the rental contract. So, for example, you could say, ich habe den Mietvertrag unterschrieben. I signed the rental contract. And Nummer 6 ist die Immobilie. Die Immobilie is the real estate or the property. Such as der Investor fokussiert sich auf Immobilien. The investor is focusing on properties or real estate. Nummer 7. Kaltmiete zuzüglich Nebenkosten. That is cold rent plus additional costs. So that is something that you can see a lot when you want to rent an apartment. Kaltmiete is the cold rent, which means the rent that you have to pay before all additional costs such as electricity, gas, I don't know, Wi-Fi and all that kind of stuff. Just the plain rent for the apartment. That's what we call in German Kaltmiete. And then the zuzüglich, which is often written as ZZGL. Zuzüglich means additional und dann zuzüglich Nebenkosten. Neben is like next to cost, which just means additional cost. So you might read something like Die Kaltmiete zuzüglich Nebenkosten beträgt 900 Euro. The cold rent plus um, additional costs is 900 Euro. Nummer 8. Das Dach und der Dachstuhl. Okay, so if you want to buy a house, then oftentimes it's kind of important to look at the roof and if the structure of the roof is like solid. So das Dach in German is the roof and der Dachstuhl is the roof structure. You know, the wooden structure oftentimes that holds the roof. So if you are looking at an old house, you could say der Dachstuhl ist alt und muss erneuert werden. So you could say something then like uh, the roof structure is old and has to be renewed or renovated. Nummer 9. Der Besichtigungstermin. Der Besichtigungstermin is the viewing appointment. So let's say you want to rent an apartment. For example, I'm living in Berlin and oftentimes it's very difficult to um, rent an apartment, to find a good apartment there. And a lot of people want to see the apartment. And then you would uh, have a viewing appointment, einen Besichtigungstermin. So you could say something like, ich habe heute um 17 Uhr einen Besichtigungstermin für eine Wohnung. I have today an appointment at uh, five o'clock for an apartment. And the last one, number 10, is also quite important. 
Quadratmeter. Quadratmeter means square meter. So, you know, when you're reading or especially when you maybe talk to a broker um, on, on the phone and you want to ask, okay, how big is the apartment or uh, uh, how big is the house? Then oftentimes you talk or you say that in uh, square meters. So in German, we would say something like meine Wohnung ist 90 Quadratmeter groß. My apartment is 90 square meters. So those were a couple of important vocabularies that you might need if you just arrived in Germany, if you're looking for an apartment or a house in Germany. And like those vocabularies, I think they're really fundamental and really, really helpful um, for you to communicate better and understand what the guy or the girl is talking to you about. Um, by the way, there is also a free ebook in my show notes, so you can just click on there and, and download it. I hope you like my videos. Please subscribe to the channel and see you next time.